What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I am finally starting on the F-150. As you guys can see, it has been involved in a front end collision and we are going to need a brand new core support and a new apron. So I'm going to strip it all down and then we are going to start pulling on this frame. I also just noticed that there is actual damage to the frame chassis itself. So we'll have to take care of that as well. Check it out guys, I got this right side apron all removed and as you can see, there is a little bit of damage right here, but I think we can straighten that and it'll be fine. Everything else looks really good. I need to move on to the other side. Also, I need to point out that I do need to replace this section as well. I've got that brand new from the dealer. You can see here it's bent back. So we'll have to give that a little pull and then cut it off. So on this side, we have drilled out all the spot welds and now I just need to chisel everything off nice and clean. I'm having a little bit of trouble here because I did have to use the sander down here uh, since I can't get inside here. I'm only drilling holes where I can weld from the back. As you can see right here, I'll be able to weld back here and it's gonna look really good and it's gonna work out perfectly. So I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna get all this off and we're gonna try to fit up that new piece. Looking through all the parts, I noticed that the customer has provided us with all the new frame rail pieces and judging by this frame rail right here, I'm pretty sure that he wants me to replace this frame horn. And as you guys can see, this is from Ford. Uh, all we need to do is simply take this apart and slide that off and then weld this on. Everything will be nice and brand new. I think there's one more piece that I've yep. We've got that mount as well. So we'll do that real quick and then we'll continue. As you guys can see, I got the frame rail installed. It's just a dry install, have not welded it yet. 
As you guys can see, it looks really good. I've got the weld through primer sprayed from all the insides. Everything looks good, it's ready to weld. Now I need to go ahead and get that ready, uh, get the apron ready and uh, get the rest of that off and get this entire front end together before I weld anything. So I got the frame rail all mocked up and I have all the different pieces tacked in as well. And I also went ahead and welded on the bumper bracket. So right now it is just on there with this bolt. I welded a nut inside there. We are ready to weld, but I want to obviously have the apron on and the core support. So I have been straightening everything. Guys, check that out. Look how nice everything is coming out. As you guys know, all this was just crunched in. It was all crushed in. I didn't really get a good shot of it all, but you can tell from the paint that it was all destroyed. But now look at it. So what I need to do is drill some holes in this plate and weld that on like that.
Check that out guys, I got all the front end parts mounted on the Ford Ranger and man, everything is lining up so nicely. I am so happy. I love working with dealer parts. Uh, everything that we installed onto this truck has been from the dealer, uh, besides obviously this factory fender here. But man, this thing is looking so good guys. It is ready to weld. As you can see, I've got this frame rail right here braced up. It's all cleaned up. Look at that. Check that out guys. We got the rail all ready to weld. Everything is clamped. We already welded the front bumper bracket on. And as you can see, we are prepped to weld here and these sections as well. So super exciting. Everything is ready. Now we just need to go ahead and weld her up. I can't get over how well everything fit up. Everything just fit like a puzzle, like a big old jigsaw puzzle. So I got the Ranger all reassembled and guys, look how good this thing looks. Man, I am so happy with how everything turned out. All the door gaps are nice, all the hood gaps are good, the bumper fits, everything just looks perfect. It all went back to its factory original state. Uh, we did use all factory Ford parts, so that might have played a big role in why everything fit together so good. But guys, look at that, man. This thing is going to look like it's never even been wrecked. I need to adjust this door a little bit. As you guys can see, this door has just been installed, kind of, sort of. I never even messed with it. I should have did that. But uh, look in here, man. Look at that. We got the frame rail all welded up. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, check that out, guys. Got it all welded up. And got the apron all welded up. So basically what we have left to do is I am going to finish up these welds here. As you can see, I did not weld those few spot welds uh, simply because I already have everything set and everything looks good and I can do that on the ground and I really need this thing off of the frame machine. So we'll finish that on the ground, but look at that. Look how good that turned out. Look at that. I would be happy with that repair if I was, you know, the customer or whatever. Uh, so you know, I need to finish these three welds right here and then finish the little plate underneath and we're, we are good to go. But man, guys, look at that. It just, 
it's perfect. Also, guys, check this out. I did clean up my area a little bit. As you guys know, this area has always been in a state of disrepair. And as you guys can see now, we have all the trams up on the wall that are used for measuring the frames. We have all the clamps up there. We have all the Milwaukee tools. And I have all my pulling clamps and chains and everything else that was super ugly, all hidden in crates inside there. And then over here, we have all our chains and binders on this rack. So a lot more organized, a lot cleaner. So to bring this project to a completion, we need to finish off those welds and get everything trimmed out on the underneath and then go ahead and prep the exterior for paint and get all that done. And then I don't know if I will be doing the final assembly yet. I will talk to Mike. Uh, he might want to do it himself. If he wants to do it himself, that's fine. If he wants me to do it, I'll take care of it for him. Uh, it would be nice to see this thing all buttoned up. Either way, we'll get to see it. Uh, he's definitely probably going to keep this thing. So uh, we'll see it here in the future. That's going to be it for this video, guys. If you enjoy the content, hit that like button. And if you want to see this truck get all completed and finished and going down the road, stay tuned for the next video. Also, stay tuned for the video. We are going to be painting this entire M3 right here. Guys, check this out. This is a F80 M3, just like the one that I've been trying to build. And this thing is freaking nice. Look at these carbon ceramic brakes. And then look at this interior. I don't know how I feel about the tan on blue, but the seats are nice. And it's got a cool steering wheel on it as well. Uh, so stay tuned. We are going to be painting this car. As, and then also the Jag. We've got basically all the parts in for the Jag, I think. So we're going to be painting that next week. So stay tuned for that video. And I will have a 